Alert, alert, alert. Hyperinflation is here. Every man, woman, and horse for themselves. If you want to know what the hell I'm talking about, stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode. All right. Seems like uh, we survived the great corona crash of uh, 2020. I mean, just look at the numbers. Uh, just a, a month ago, um, you know, we were just uh, suffering from uh, the largest point drop in, you know, uh, stock market history. Um, we were all, you know, bleeding red. We thought it was over. We thought we were going to go all the way to zero and all that stuff. And uh, as we sit here today, we're, we're like, oh, wait a minute. Things aren't so bad, right? This Trump economics, these Trumponomics, you know, are working really well. In fact, they're working so well, I mean, we're back to business. We're back to being in a bull market. I mean, we went all the way down. We were all the way at 30,000 points, and we went down to around 18,000 points. And we went, you know, now, as of today, we're around 24, 24 and a half, 25, whatever. Who, who's counting, right? In fact, that's what we're, you know, talking about today. We're talking about hyperinflation that's right folks it's here hyperinflation here we come for a lot of you guys out there me included that thought that this whole thing was over the dollar is gonna crash we're all gonna go to zero the whole thing a hey, false alarm in fact this whole thing that's going on with the virus and what and whatnot basically it's uh, kind of like a dry run and uh, the more I sit here and think about it the more I analyze uh, the situation Seems like it's just a dry run. They wanted to see how uh, this was going to go along. And at the same time, the, you know, it, it was going to allow them to implement a bunch of things that they wanted to implement. Uh, case in point, universal basic income and um, more draconian laws and so on and so forth. And more importantly, they want to make sure that you guys, you know, started to get used to the new America. Started to get used to a lot of these new things that are going to be coming forward coming forward um, as things uh, move and progress because honestly guys we're already seeing that we've already <coughs> <coughs> oh seems like I got some of that Rona no but honestly like, like I was saying it seems like we've already pretty much recovered um, as you guys can see from this chart right here um, yeah look how quickly we've recovered we look how quickly we went down look how quickly we went up and where we are now so I mean yeah guys seems like we're gonna go we're going to continue going up from here going forward. I mean, it doesn't seem, I would not be short in this market at all. In fact, every single day, um, you know, uh, we're getting more and more um, indication that, uh, that a lot of this money that's being printed is bailing out all these corporations. It's bailing out all of these companies out there. It's bailing out you. In fact, it's bailing out everybody except a small business. If you own a small business, like an actual small business, um, you're, you're probably going to not be around. And uh, But it's okay. It's okay. There's so much free money flowing. You'll probably be able to do something else and start over again and whatever you know but the point is is that a lot of people out there with small businesses they're the ones that are getting shafted they're getting loans and they're getting a very tiny amount of money in comparison to what they should be getting and um on the other side uh, we're seeing all these corporations that have done really horrible business in the sense of you know just bad business that they've uh, you know got to the point where uh, they're bankrupt and they need the you know bailouts to begin with um, but that's another story for another day uh, but anyways you know they're getting trillions and trillions of dollars and uh, the money's not ending there where you know today as of recording this um, you know the PPP loans were already running out of money I thought we were you know printing into oblivion I thought we had plenty of money in fact Steve Mnuchin also said today by the way you're watching this the next day probably most likely but anyways Steve Mnuchin you know, the, the Fed guy, the Fed president, he also said today um, that $1,200 should be enough to get Americans by for 10 weeks. That's right, folks. He thinks that 120 bucks should be more than enough. 120 bucks should be more than enough for you to get by for two for a week, all right? So 120 bucks a week. That's basically how, how that math goes. So, yeah, I hope you guys are, you know, getting ready to buy a bunch of ramen noodles all right <laughs> anyways and digress but i mean hey i mean how much could you be spending if you're at home all day um ordering pizza yeah about a hundred yeah i know right i forgot people have bills right i think he forgot too that people have bills you know like rent light bill water bill internet bill video game bill 
and so on and so forth, all right? And I can go on and on because as you guys know, you guys have plenty of bills out there. But I digress. Um, again, why would you be short in this market right now? Why would anyone be literally saying anything but the fact that this market is going to go to 40,000 points, 50,000 points, and beyond? I mean, who knows how far this is going, all right? Like, again, just like you saw in the thumbnail where I, I put some uh, Zimbabwe dollars there. Again, these are Zimbabwe notes, and you saw how big they were all right at some point you're going to be paying you know uh one trillion dollars or one billion dollars let's do let's, you know what let's let's be reasonable one million dollars for a cup of coffee you know that's going to be the future all right but it's going to be okay you're going to get a lot of money a lot of stimulus right i mean the government's going to keep uh helping you out these temporary programs are you know we already know temporary programs equal forever programs in government so yeah, and by the way, this is where you see like in communism, you know, people that get, like if you go to Cuba and they're like, oh yeah, I only get like $20 a day. Yeah, because when they instilled that $1,200 a month stipend, or you know, again, the $20 and $30 a month stipend in Cuba for that particular uh, country, um, that was a lot of money, or that was at least reasonable, or a, a normal amount of money, a normal, an okay amount of money. Anyways, right, the point is, is that, you know, that 1200 isn't enough already, and I'm sure it's not going to be enough going forward. Hey, but it's okay. It seems like the Democrats uh, and, you know, Nancy Pelosi and these uh, individuals, you know, they're saying that we should be getting around $2,400 a month per individual. Yeah, that's right. Because the reality is, is that they need you. They want, they have, they, the, the point of them giving you this money, it's not because they care about you. It's not because they love you and they want you to be okay. No, it's because they need the economy to move. They need the economy, you know, to function, all right? They need the velocity of money to start picking up. And so they need to give you money because they're realizing that, like, like everyone keeps saying, 1200 isn't enough. And it isn't enough. So they need to give you more money so that you can spend more of it. They can spend all of it. They don't want you to buy Bitcoin or gold or silver or, or put it under your mattress. They don't want any of that. They want you to spend it. So, you know, again, eventually that $1,200. See, again, I think, I honestly think that, you know, um, even though I talk about the communism and fascism and all this stuff, you know, we are going in that direction. But at the same time, um, we're going into hyperinflation. And by the way, hyperinflation also hit countries like Cuba back in the day, just like they hit Venezuela, just like they hit Zimbabwe, just like they've hit, you know, China and, and so on and so forth and many other countries in the past, you know, but right now, you know, um, and, and plenty of countries that aren't communist, all right, or anything like that. But the point is that right now, the United States is about to hit hyperinflation. Now, you know, we've been in inflation, you know, and, and, and some, some can argue that we've been going through hyperinflation for a while now, but the reality is, is that we haven't seen nothing yet. And uh, if what's going on right now isn't, uh, a sign to you already again um let me just reiterate the fact that 22 point something odd million and eh, let's round it off let's be nice 22 million people are out of work i think there was only 156 yeah it's something like that there's like 156 million americans in the workforce and two and 22 million out of that 156 are out of work so that's like one fifth of the population is out of work some shit like that all right Roughly, I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, I is a guy or whatever. I ain't, I ain't rocket science. Anyways, look. The point is, is that a lot of people are out of work, and you would think that the stock market, you know, would be continually to dip. You know, which it should be, you know, down at 15 or 10 or or five. You know, uh, five thousand. You know, not 25,000, which is where it's nearing at the at the moment. All right, we're going up. So wh why? You know, why is the stock market going up? Well, we know that. We've talked about them in other episodes. It's because, again, the money that they're printing, they're using it to buy the stock market, buy, you know, bad assets, buy debt, buy, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a Ponzi scheme that's getting out of hand. But we're not there, you know, we're not all the way at totally out of hand yet. Again, we're not out of, the, the whole thing is not out of hand until you're paying $1 million for a cup of coffee. All right. And then and with that same token, you know, when you hold your Bitcoin or gold or silver or other asset, it's going to super duper really appreciate. OK, because for obvious reasons, you know, um, now all of a sudden things have gone, you know, to fair value. We've talked about this plenty of times in other episodes. I'm not going to get too deep into it. But again, when things go to fair value, meaning right now everything is overvalued. OK, every single thing. Again, you know that because. Your pay t rent is too expensive. Um, no one can afford a house. 
and everything is on loan you can't buy anything or own anything and so on and so forth okay so basically everything is overvalued all right it needs to be where you know you can have a humble job being a janitor and there should be plenty of money to afford a normal life all right a, a janitor job is is better basically off you know if you're working as a janitor you're probably most likely living in the same closet of the same school where you're living in you know aka uh, like fucking uh what's it called uh what's what's a guy from uh, the simpsons you know the <laughs> anyways i digress so the point i'm making is that even though a fifth of the workforce right now is out of work sorry i apologize for the the bread guy as you guys can see, things are the workforce is still out here, out and about, all right? But um, as I was saying, even though one-fifth of the workforce has been, in, in a sense, fired overnight, and a lot of these guys, a lot of these people are not going to regain their job right away or anytime soon, even though that's happening, you know, hey, everyone, the, the stock market has more confidence now than ever before, all right? And as, of, as, I'm, as I'm recording this right now, the president is talking about, again, uh, you know, opening up early, you know, opening up the country, you know, um, earlier than, than what they thought, you know, um, talking about some sort of ginormous infrastructure plan and yada, yada, yada. And again, it, a lot of the same things that are happening right now happened to the Great Depression. I remember like a week ago, someone was uh, put on Twitter. Um, um, again, I'm sure you guys already know about this, the fact that, you know, a lot of uh, food purveyors are dumping their food or burning their food or getting rid of their food because they can't you know again like there's milk and uh, you know dairy pur purveyors out there that you know again there's no market that there's no you know what i mean that there's no the supply chain is kind of like all messed up and broken and so they're dumping milk and again at the same dumping milk and they're not making cheese and dumping food products and getting rid of uh, you know food at a time when there's people starving and by the way this happened during the great depression look it up Look it up, okay? It happened. And um, not just that, but, you know, so many more things. Again, you know, as you're looking at right now where, you know, Mr. Trump is saying that, oh, we're going to have a giant, um, what is it, infrastructure plan, and we're going to rebuild America. We're going to have better roads, nicer roads, nicer bridges, wh whatever. Anyways, again, something he's been talking about for a while. Let's see if he actually, fuck, you know, follows through on it. But, again, something that I've talked about in the past before, if he does this, all right, right now will be a perfect time because again, we're going into hyperinflation. There's a lot of money printing and all this money that's being printed can be used, it will be used to rebuild America, okay? Until that dollar that has been used to rebuild America, to rebuild the whole infrastructure, to just rebuild everything until that dollar has no more value. Once it has no more value, then they get rid of it and put in a new one, all right? But what the, at this point, you know, there's no reason why not to run it into the ground and run it, run it into the ground by again rebuilding america now let's see if he actually follows through on it but again same thing that happened during the great depression you remember the great works of fdr all right some of the you know things like the hoover dam and uh, so many things you know were built um during that time all right during those times all right so we're repeating a lot of these things. I mean, I again, I talked about a lot of these things. You know, I've been talking about a lot of these things on this channel. And by the way, welcome to any new viewers out there. And, uh, you know, hey, what's up to all you other, the older viewers who watch me all the time. I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody. And I wanted to do a quick shameless plug right now. Please, please, all right, check out joseadiaga.com and make sure that you click all the links below, okay, and follow my other channel, follow my other content everywhere because the thing is that every single day they're deleting channels. Every single day people are getting strikes. I have two strikes as of now, so I mean one day I might not even be around. So if you're not, again, if you don't know about my website, if you don't know about my other channel, if you don't know about all these other things that I have, then one day you might just not find me. So if you enjoy this content, then well, Please make sure to follow me elsewhere. I got a podcast. I, I got every. I'm all over the place. Just click the links at the bottom. I'm not going to keep wasting your time with this. Your time is very important and finite, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Now, back to what I was saying. Listen, guys, you know, right now, all, I think really the, the longer this goes on, I really do think that this is just a dry run. They wanted to see how people would take to, I don't know, being in, in, in the, you know, what is it? Being forced to stay in their own homes, uh, to, all of a sudden uh, be forced to live under gulag, um, you know, to be all of a sudden be forced to live under gulag type um, environment. I mean, basically that's that's what it is and that's what it's come down to. Um, right now, um, all of a sudden everyone around the world, but basically 
in, in the countries, you know, first world countries, they're really, really, you know, you know, not only being put on lockdown, but they're really being pushed to their limits. The people out there, all of you guys are being pushed to your limits one way or the other. All right. And um, the government has seen that. And um, that's why they're thinking about upping the ante and giving you guys even more money, more bribe money. All right. So that you guys can, you know, take it because right now a lot of things are going on like a lot of people are waking up they're just basically waking up to a lot of this stuff because as i was saying before as i was trying to um theorize before in other episodes you know thinking man you know a really cool thing about this whole thing could be the fact that a lot of people are just going to be home and um bored out of their minds and instead of twiddling their thumbs or playing video games they might just go down the rabbit hole like finally for the first time because you know what a lot of people out there come to think of it you know me included and a lot of us out there you know we didn't really start going down the rabbit hole until we stopped you know so many people out there just living their life you know just busy 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 or living their life whatever their life is and uh um you know whether it's good or bad and they're just so you know again on that hamster wheel or they're just so um enthralled with their life that a lot of people just don't have time to just stop and smell the roses and when someone like me or you out there starts telling them or talking to them about the truth or talking to them about hey you know this is going on the government bliss blah 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 they just turn you off because they don't have time for any of that in their world they got too much going on and even though they might agree with you and even though they understand that a lot of these things are messed up and blah blah, blah and all these things you know they, they might um, 1000 percent agree with us in one form or another but they just can't assimilate to the fact that you know what i mean they have to all of a sudden now you know um in a way um what is it like uh, dig deep into all of these things that you know someone like you or me can have time for but they don't have time for because again they're working two jobs they got a family to maintain they got all of these things that they don't want to threaten with the truth in which all of a sudden it's going to start making things crumble because you know if you're at work and you have a family and kids and all this stuff you know you keep you know you just keep it going because you're keeping it going for your family for your kids for you know all of these things you know whatever uh, but a lot but if all of a sudden someone like me comes along and starts you know opening you up to the truth most people don't want to hear that because all of a sudden it's like you know i'm going to put things in their head that's going to make them not want to go to work all right and then have them question a lot of things about their life and then all of a sudden it puts in jeopardy the fact that they can come you know every day wake up and uh, you know put food on the table and all that stuff and so they don't even want to hear it they would just rather live the life i mean live the lie of what is their, their life and just again like a lot of people just you know find happiness in their family find happiness in what they have find you know and all that other stuff and again there's nothing wrong with that but that allows the people in power to basically do what they want because they know that all we want to do is just be left the fuck alone to just be at home you know what i mean with our family have a job a regular job you know just live a regular life and um they know that and that's why they threaten it constantly all the time all right by threatening to want it to take away to take away from it yeah ah, sorry from threatening you in many many subtle ways on taking it away from you and now more than any other time you know again if you say the wrong thing it can be taken away from you if you do the wrong thing it can be taken away from you and so on and so forth right and like i said a lot of people have had enough and um and and, and many aspects because a lot of people now for a while have been sitting at home with nothing to do except go down the rabbit hole and start really looking into a lot of these things okay and start really like figuring out oh wait a minute i guess jose was right i guess johnny was right i guess mary was right about this that or that damn damn what am i gonna do well i mean i know i'm not gonna have a job after this is over so what am i gonna do oh my god you know and so on and so forth and just going down that rabbit hole and everyone's different everybody has a different life a different experience a different you know you know uh, trauma or situation that they're experiencing because of this but all i really want to say though before i get too deep into that is that look man things are going to be okay as we can see right now you know things are going to be okay at least for the short run short time period here um but it's going to and it's going to give a lot of you guys out there that are waking up or wake woken up to the point you know of uh, already wanting to make a really hard decision of uh you know moving or, or whatever whatever it is that you want to do out there you know now's the time to do it to do it i mean if this is not a wake-up call i don't know what is and for anyone out there that's starting to wake up again i hope that you guys wake up enough and wake up fast enough you know what i mean in order to and realize enough, you know uh, quickly enough what's going on before it's too late because 
again, this could if if, if things don't wait, you know, people don't wake up uh, enough, and um, and there's um, you know too much of this propaganda going on all over the place, um, and. You know, you already know this cannot end well, all right? It, it could be the end of the Republic or it could be a rebirth of the Republic. It could go either or, all right? It's up to you guys out there. It's up to the public. But um, all I'm saying is that I see, I do see a lot of more people, in a sense, starting to wake up. I see a lot more people, you know, wanting to watch my videos. I have a lot more views on my videos now, all of a sudden, talking about these subjects, so I'm making more of them. Um, I'm getting a lot of views on my older videos, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of people out there waking up in one shape, form, or another, and they're realizing that things are whack, and things are just getting whacker, and what the hell are we gonna do about it? You know what I mean? Like, this ain't right, you know? And again, right now, you know, when um, Pelosi and the Democrats, you know, were saying, I'm not picking them, Democrat and right, whatever. They're all the same to me. But anyways, as they're saying, oh, we're going to start giving people 2400 bucks a month, plus this money, plus that, plus the unemployment, plus it. You know, you would think that the, the people would be happy, but people are now starting to be like, huh? Arr? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean you're giving us all this money? Now it's a little bit too much money. In a sense of like, well, if you're just giving away this money, then is it really worth anything? And now we started going into that, you know what I mean? Which is, you know, the confidence, you know, where people are always talking about this and the Bitcoin and the gold and all that shit world. They're like, you know, when people pretty much say, you know, hey, the reason you gotta buy gold, silver, and all these other assets is because one day people are just gonna lose faith in that dollar. They're gonna lose faith in that currency. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a lot of people just start saying, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, why am I even paying taxes? Can't you just print tax money? Why am I paying, you know what I mean? And just so on and so forth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I work so hard, so hard to barely make, to, you know, $2,000 or barely make 1200 And now you're just giving it away and you want to give more away? Right. And so, again, what's going to happen? That's when we see hyperinflation. We see the price of goods start going up. And again, there, this, this repeats over and over again. This is why I, you know, tell you guys all the time to go check out the hidden secrets of money check out mike maloney check out the history of money you know find out what's really going on and how all this really works because the reality of the, of all this is that it's a cycle it just happens you know over and over again and like i was explaining to my friend yesterday that he just still doesn't get it i was just telling him look man it's just a cycle I, I don't want the u.s you know to go down or anything like that i'm american i love the u.s i'm all about america but the point is is that look this is just like a period all right like literally like when a woman has their time of the month, all right? And, you know, right now, you know, the U.S. is about to, is, is experiencing, you know, right? You know, when for women out there and for guys that have women out there, you know, it's just, you know, when that time of the month is like right before, a few days before, it's like, oh, I'm not feeling well. Oh, um, my head hurts. Oh, blah, 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 all of these things. Everyone's different. Okay, we're, we're starting to get there. We're at that point now, all right? And we got to have a really rough period, all right, which, I mean, literally and figuratively, I mean, for real, is a rough period in our country, all right, and once we pass that rough period, things are going to be A-OK, -okay, all right, and that's just, that's it, that's all it is, that's all it is, and it's all a cycle, and it's going to happen again, all right, at some point, who knows, all right, how long we can keep it going again, but at this point, that's it, guys, you know what I mean, like, for, so, it's, and it's not, you know, now, now, again, just like that time of the month, it doesn't just happen like that it, it takes time and it's not usually at the time that you want or at the speed that you want and then it, and it's going to be uncomfortable in the ways that you don't want it to be uncomfortable you know for you your partner for anyone around you and so on and so forth and it's just a lot of things like that so that's basically the best way to look at it that's kind of like what's happening and what's going to be happening with with uh with this whole thing all right and that's it you know what I mean? Like for reals. And so, yeah, I mean, it was funny because that, the reason I'm bringing it up is because I was explaining it to him yesterday and he got it and I was like, okay, boom, I'm gonna write that one down. You know what I mean? You know, and tell you guys about it because maybe that's a better way to explain what's going on. You know, for, you know, people like us, you know, that do know um, a little bit more about the monetary cycles and history and all this stuff to help explain to others that really just have no idea or are kind of, kind of get it you know what i mean they kind of understand it but they're not really there yet because that's it you know what i mean i mean there's no other way to explain it and uh you know right now you can sit there and try to study this stuff and try to figure it out and all this stuff which is great i, I encourage you to do that um you know or, or, you know but by the time you really start getting to the point where you're like well educated it might be too late to you know actually take advantage of the situation and invest but you know again 
um, as, as, as we're looking at the whole thing now, um, you know, we're seeing things that um, even though for as a historian, you know what I mean, or someone that's seen this cycle many, many times before, we are seeing a lot of things that we've never seen before. But at the same time, again, you know, thing, history doesn't repeat, it rhymes. So, you know, right now we have these things called computers, and that is what is, and then we, you know, we have like this, again, this world hegemony in the sense that like the U.S. and this, you know, can't, you know, do a lot of things, a lot more things than other empires can do um, with, you know, the things like technology and all this other stuff. But, yeah, at the same time, again, you know, the more you go back into history, it's basically the same thing. You know, there's just different technologies, different empires, different everything. But right now, we're at the very beginning of uh, hyperinflation. You know, we're about to hit hyperinflation um, any day now. You know, uh, we're already starting to see the beginning cracks, the beginning signs of it. You know, where you're seeing the helicopter money. You're seeing basically, um, they're not saying that they're not going to give you more money. You know, they're saying the opposite. They're saying, we're going to give you more money. We're going to give you more and more. In fact, we, we don't think that that's enough. And, uh, they themselves, apparently, they're not even confident that uh, we're going to be able to, um, um, you know, get those jobs replaced. That all those jobs that got lost are probably not going to be replaced. And even with the, U the, the U.S. president saying, hey, we're going to probably do like a massive works project job type of thing where we're going to start building roads and building dams and bridges and all this stuff. You know, again, you know, they're still going to be giving a lot of this money away. Because, again, guys, if you know anything about these things, it gets to a point where they can't even give it away. All right, so they're trying their very hardest to, you know, keep retaining its value while at the same time it's losing its value even faster. And more people are waking up to the fact that this is this is just the dollar is just monopoly money. And uh, again, you know, look at you know like what you're seeing in, in the price of oil. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, um, you know, every single day you're seeing it go lower and lower and lower. Well, except for today, you know, you're seeing a major jump up. You know, but again goes to show you a lot of the manipulation a lot of the stuff that's going on but guys you know there's just too many things in fact i wrote some notes let me see what else i wrote here one second so yeah as i was saying earlier i don't know if i completely went and covered the whole thing all the way through but you know basically you know a lot of things that we're seeing right now is that a lot of people are starting to have enough of this whole quarantine thing and so basically you know the people that are in charge they put this stuff you know uh, as you know they put this stuff um, about in order to you know see what the public would do see how they could do it see how it would be implemented again you know when the people talk about event 201 agenda 21 and you know so many other things but just let's just stay with event 201 because that's what people are remembering you know uh, or talking about as of uh, you know thing that happened just a few months ago and like late 2019 as it was a simulation to what's going on well what's going on now is an actual physical simulation it's still a simulation right what was happening in event 201 um in late uh what is it in late 2019 um when all these uh, big wigs you know like bill gates and all these others got involved uh you know to simulate this world pandemic and how they were going to deal with it um now they were putting the pieces into work you know to see okay now let's uh, see how it's gonna really gonna go and see what we can do and um you know, I think a lot of things are going to be put to a kibosh for now where, you know, Bill Gates and others won't want to, you know, give everybody a vaccine, give everybody an ID and all this other stuff. But it's all coming. I mean, for reals, you know, it's not it's not probably going to be here right now. It's not anything, but they're already give, throwing this stuff out there, putting these ideas out there so you guys can start getting used to it. You guys can start, you know, um, you know, swallowing this really big tough pill um that's gonna be again their future the future that they want it's up to you whether you want it or not but they want it and they're gonna make you know again try to make you guys swallow this pill and apparently you guys are swallowing it just fine seems like uh this dry run that we're all under um this uh you know quarantine or what have you has been going great you know everybody is uh you know handling their gulags very well um everyone is uh, totally okay with um you know uh you know getting you know getting people in trouble for coughing getting people in trouble you know for showing six you know sick symptoms you know getting people in trouble for walking outside or being at the park or being you know congregated and all that stuff so yeah you know i mean it seems like um they got the result they wanted now What's going on now? Well, we're starting to see that it only lasted so long. As we're seeing right now, um, as I wrote right here, we got we got already people protesting in Michigan, Oklahoma, and um, a few other places out there. Okay, there are people are already having enough of this quarantine, you know, bullshit, and they're going out there and they're protesting the fact that they want things to go back to normal. 
all right and again just like the president was saying earlier you know he wants to you know open up start opening up again and we're starting to see that we're going to start having a slow open and we're going to start opening up again soon because i don't think the people are going to be happy no matter how much you money you give them but again guys this is just a dry run see how things go and um you know the next time the next time is going to be real i mean like for reals for reals all right and um that's the thing you know what are we how are we going to prepare for what's going to happen next all right but uh definitely you know they're planning something we don't know what the hell they're planning we don't know what the hell they're you know i um you know um idea going forward is per se but they they are planning on doing something again you know the same guy mr bill gates the same guy that wants to you know um give everybody a vaccine is the same guy that talks about eugenics all the time which is population control and again not populate like controlling the population i mean it's, it's that too you know like controlling you guys with propaganda and controlling you guys and your minds and all that stuff you know and what you think and all that and your opinion but you know basically you know the population control where you know the, the, he thinks and others think like him that there's too many people on earth and um the fact is that there's you know where well, there's plenty of land for all these people but um according to them there's way too many people and um they need to kill some off or they would like for some of these people to not be around they would like for the population to be less than what it is now all right so that's that's eugenics eugenics is right, hold on up sorry <laughs> a big gust of wind uh, closed the door one second hold on sorry a big gust of wind was about to slam the door shut i don't want that to happen but um yeah you know one of the big projects um, that he's involved in has been involved in for a very long time has been eugenics and i don't want to get too deep into that this is not the bill gates episode you can you know watch my other videos for that um but yeah you know what i mean basically uh his, you know his father was involved in this stuff and many other things and so is he and um yeah right now mr bill gates is uh pushing um vaccines and again would you take a vaccine from the same guy that wants population control in the sense of like you know wean the herd there's too many people so we gotta you know call some of you guys out you know we got to make sure that we euthanize you guys you know as uh as as um humanely as possible you, you're gonna take a vaccine from that guy exactly but as you guys can see if things get you know desperate enough dire enough you know what is it like uh you know there's a crazy virus there's a crazy situation out there oh yeah oh yeah they're gonna be able to impl implement this and not only implement it but the people are gonna demand it and want it again this is just a dry run i know i think that the people are really out there on the streets and protesting and demanding you know to get back to work i mean here in mexico and all over the place all over the i think in a lot of places around the world and we're gonna see more and more of that as i was talking about that already um we're going to see more and more of that and the reason we're seeing that is because we're not seeing that many deaths you know we're not seeing anyone really you know what i mean this is not really taking hold like they wanted if this would have been taking hold a little you know more like they wanted then you know things could you know could have gotten progressively worse when it came to a lockdown but again i really do think that all this is uh, perfectly uh, constructed and calculated and that again this is just a dry run and that you know they've already talked about it many times that hey we're gonna have another season this is gonna happen again people are gonna get sick again you know we're gonna blah blah you know all this stuff so you know you already know that this uh virus thing is going to be something that's going to be around for a while that they're going to keep using and um you know anytime that they really want to you know break, you know uh break down uh, the economy break down the civilization or at least get everybody controlled while shit hits the fan they well they got their tool they got their you know hey we got a virus i mean we got the we got a corona outbreak we got another one hey but, oh you gotta go home hey you better this hey you better that hey you already know what to do we've already been through this that whole deal okay and that's it i think that you know we're gonna have corona outbreaks and we're gonna go through some of these uh you know quarantines and then all this other stuff and that's it you know what i mean if you're out there protesting if you're out there um you know doing as you're you know doing what they don't want you to do you know saying what they don't want you to say a lot of you guys then yeah you know all of a sudden you're gonna have a corona outbreak in your fucking neighborhood and you're gonna put your ass in quarantine and you already know what to do we already been through this and so on and so forth and if you don't uh, comply you know you're gonna be the pariah in the rest to your area because and so on and so forth so yeah 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 i mean get used to it guys it's coming it's coming so you know basically um that is going to be the new um, america is going to be the new world i mean in a lot of places it just depends on uh you know who's out there and uh, what's going to go on with all that but yeah you know it's not looking good it's uh scary in a sense um you know again thank god that right now uh you know it's not like a major thing and that they didn't really impose this whole thing on everybody like they we know that they probably could have 
but um yeah you know what i mean like right now they're you know they themselves are probably thinking that they they can't implement this whole thing just yet that they got to go baby steps and they got to get people used to it and they got to get people you know uh, with a different mindset and uh, feed them propaganda and get people scared and so on and so forth and slowly and sl slowly but surely and gradually they're going to start implementing this whole thing and uh, yeah you know before you know it it's uh, 1984 or whatever dystopian future you know we talk about and envision and it's not going to take that long guys it's really not going to take that long i mean we might think it's going to take a very long time but it's not it's not. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, we're seeing everything just happen in a snap of a finger. So, yeah. Uh, before you know it, that 2400 extra dollars that uh, the Pelosi wants to give you guys is not going to be enough to buy a cup of coffee. And at that point, that's, that's the point of no return type of thing. But we're not there yet. We're getting there. We're approaching that point, but it's not there yet. And um, again, if you want more context on all this stuff, just uh, study a little bit of uh, hyperinflation. You know, check out Weimar Germany. What happened there? Check out what happened in Zimbabwe. Check out what happened in uh, Venezuela and, and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and again, it's not just there. These are just the, the countries and, uh, you know, um, these are just the examples that are you know the most um, popular you know but there's examples all over the place this happens all over the, all the time it happened in mexico back in the 90s and uh, happens in argentina every other day you know <laughs> and so on and so forth you know some countries deal with this more others less uh, but at the end of the day it's because they're all you know they all derive their value from the u.s dollar um but how is this all gonna you know change the world going forward when this dollar gets hyperinflated gets devalued stops being used and so on and so forth and again is the u.s gonna well the u.s is gonna implement a new dollar once this dollar isn't is worth nothing but how is the rest of the world gonna take to that are they gonna use it you know will the u.s force them to use it or will it just be used in the u.s and just other and a few other countries here and then so you know there's a lot of a lot of things that are gonna happen but we don't know we don't know anything yet all we do know is that we are in the very beginning stages of hyperinflation all right we have so much more upside to go it's not even funny all right and and that's the truth all right so um these dollars that you know these one thousand that one thousand two hundred dollars that most people are already getting or got um it's already worth less than when you got it all right and that's just the truth and it's gonna keep getting becoming worth less and less as uh, time goes on and so spend it you know just like the government wants you because otherwise you know, if you put it under your bed, just that put those dollars under your bed, you're not going to do anything with them. So that's why you got to buy some gold, some silver, some Bitcoin, some property. These things that, you know, let's just say you buy property and it's overvalued for whatever. And then, you know, some shit happens like that. You know, at the end of the day, you still got your property. You still got that, you know, you can live on, you know, you know, gold, silver, Bitcoin and other things like that will retain their value. And a lot of people out there are still skeptical on Bitcoin. And that's totally fine. I get that. I understand that. But, you know, we're in a digital world now and we're moving into a digital um future and um you know gold and silver are still great because we also live in a physical world and, and we're still going to have a physical future but you can't you know it's it's like saying that email and uh, the internet are just a fad you know 30 years ago i mean are they just a fad i don't know you tell me all right so it's the same thing you know uh do you, you think that digital money is just going to be a fad i don't think so i don't think so and who you, who do you want to control that digital money the people or do you want the government to control your digital money again you know i'm sure you can answer that for yourself so you know there's plenty of people out there a lot of friends of mine a lot of uh, all kinds of people that are you know already like hey i've had done i'm i don't want i want to get a bitcoin i want to get out of this world I, uh you know i don't want to i don't trust this or believe this anymore i'd rather buy gold and silver and i'm like okay i get that and you know i'm, I'm as long as you're out of the dollar it's totally fine but you're probably missing out on a ginormous opportunity and it's told and it's okay you know we we make mistakes you know it happens to all of us i've made them i'm sure you've made them and um if you um you know don't um educate yourself correctly on uh, you know what something like bitcoin monero and all these other cryptocurrencies are and what they do and what they mean then yeah you're probably gonna be missing out and how do you really understand them again listen you know again you know understanding the history of money just check out mike maloney all right the hidden secrets of money check him out and uh, he will you know teach you all you need to know about the dollar and uh the, what, what the difference between currency and uh money is yeah you know because a lot of people think money is the dollar but it's not that's just currency money is gold and silver 
And in this case, you know, gold, Monero, and money can be anything. Money can be anything that actually has value. You know, in this case, it's the dollar as well, but it's not really money, all right? So, but I'm not gonna go too far or deep into that. You can, I'm gonna let Mike Maloney and others that do know what the hell they're talking about talk to you about that. But once you understand that, really, we really, really, really understand that, and you understand technology and the, move, the world that we're moving into, then you understand how important this stuff is and why it's important and all this other stuff, okay? So, again, I'm not here to sell you anything at all. I'm not, sell you, I'm not here trying to sell you an, 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 on an idea or sell you anything. I'm just here to open up your minds and have you guys ask more questions and go deeper down this rabbit hole and um, figure it out for yourself because that's it. You know what I mean? That's, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Once you figure it out for yourself, that's when you really start, you know what I mean? Like opening up your eyes. Okay. Up until now, there's a lot of people out there that still haven't really figured it out. They're trying to figure it out. But once you really, really figure it out and you figure it out on your own, oh man, you know, that's a beautiful day. It really is a beautiful day. Um, so yeah, let me see. Um, yeah, all right, guys. I think that's gonna be it. I think we have a pretty long episode. Uh, we got a nice little podcast out here as well. You already know the deal. Making these longer episodes because you guys want them, enjoy them, uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, for your listening pleasure. <laughs> all right, guys. I already did my shameless plug halfway through this episode, so I'm not gonna do anything right here except say bye. So guys, you already know the deal. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, please hit that bell icon so you know when I'm dropping a video, um, you're alerted by uh, YouTube. Also, check out all the links at the bottom so you can find me everywhere because I'm all over the place. And um, that's it. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.